Common sense knowledge is what everybody knows about the world, about how physical objects work, how people interact, how you yourself think, animals, time, space, all this common knowledge that we all have together. What's troubling to NYU professors Ernest Davis and Gary Marcus is the lack of research and attention given to common sense reasoning and artificial intelligence. It's very hard to program machines to have what we think of as common sense, just basic knowledge about how the world works. If I let go of something, it will fall. But it's this obvious stuff that we know that machines don't that keeps machines from being able to interact with us fluently. There have been a lot of trends in artificial intelligence away from common sense reasoning, and those have been very successful. There are limits to how far that kind of approach will get. The most remarkable version of this is Google Translate, which has no common sense at all and doesn't actually understand the sentences that you're typing in. And maybe 70% of the time, the system seems as if it knows, but sometimes there are things you could say to the machine that if you said them to a human translator, they would know what you mean. The machine doesn't because it doesn't really know about the world. The professors hope their article will spark more research into common sense reasoning and machines. They report very little progress in this area over the last two decades. And without it, artificial intelligence is limited. There's a lot of knowledge that needs to be probably hand-coded and nobody really wants to do that. And um, So people have shied away from the whole problem of common sense reasoning. It, it used to be an active area of research and there's less work on it, I think, because it's hard and people don't know what to do next. Yet clearly, common sense knowledge is important for artificial intelligence because many tasks depend on it. For example, natural language understanding, understanding what you're reading or hearing, depends on knowing what the text is about. And you can't understand what the text is about without knowing what the world is. Being a video requires understanding what the objects in the world are, likewise robotics. If you have a robot in your factory, it may not need much common sense. If it's always picking this thing up, putting it here, picking it up, you don't need any common sense, you just have a target, right? But if I have a robot in my home and I say something like, put the plates on the dishwasher, I want it to be able to understand what I'm saying and not get confused and put the cat inside the dishwasher. So I want it to understand language, I want it to understand that my cat is a pet and not an object that you know, would be comfortable in a dishwasher. Taxonomies are another way to accomplish simple forms of common sense reasoning. Various techniques have been able to get very large taxonomies, millions of concepts, by studying web pages and seeing patterns that indicate subcategory relations. Suppose you have this, the sentence, the bat ate the fly. Does that mean bat the animal or bat the baseball club? And, and you can see in your taxonomy that uh, only animals can eat things. Bat the animal is an animal, whereas bat the club is not an animal. So you can get the right meaning of bat. Despite the challenges facing artificial intelligence and common sense reasoning, AI is already everywhere and will continue to infiltrate our lives in new ways every day. AI is driving your search engines and it's driving the recommendations in your shopping cart on Amazon. You know, your toaster is going to have some intelligence and tell some other device, I think the toast is burning. Personal assistants like Siri are going to be a lot better two decades from now. Driverless cars will be here. That's probably just scratching the surface. One benefit certainly for having human intelligence in computers would be for aiding people with disabilities, elderly people, and so on. The more intelligent the assistants are, the better they can do that. You're never going to solve what people call strong artificial intelligence. Having machines that are really intelligent in a general way, unless you take seriously the problem of common sense. If you just look at what can I do with big data, it's not going to get you far enough. People have really been hiding from that problem for a while, and we're trying to get some of the bright young people to try to work on this problem. Learn more in the review article, Common Sense Reasoning and Common Sense Knowledge in Artificial Intelligence, in the September 2015 Communications of the ACM.